Hello. During this video, we will discuss the medication Eloquis, also called Apixaban. Apixaban is an anticoagulant or blood thinner, meaning it works to thin the blood so clots don't occur. In order to safely and effectively use this medication, there are a few things you should know. At the end of this video, you should know more of the following information. What Apixaban is and why you need to take it. How to take Apixaban, including information about meals and how many times per day to take it. You should always avoid missing doses, but if it does occur, this video will tell you what you should do. This video will also inform you of the side effects you need to be watching for and when emergency treatment should be sought. Lastly, this video will inform you what you should tell your doctors and pharmacists while taking Apixaban. So let's get started. Apixaban is used for a number of conditions. The condition we will discuss today and the condition you have been prescribed this medication for is to prevent the worsening of an existing blood clot or to prevent blood clots from developing. The most common type of clots are those that develop in the legs and then travel to the lungs. Depending on what you are taking Apixaban for, there are different instructions. To treat blood clots in your legs and lungs, patients are first put on a starter dose for 7 days, where you are instructed to take 2 tablets or 10 milligrams in the morning and evening. After the first 7 days, the dose is lowered to 1 tablet or 5 milligrams in the morning and evening. Apixaban can be taken with or without food. If you are taking Apixaban to reduce your risk of developing clots in your legs and or lungs after 6 months of having been on Apixaban, the dose is lower to 2.5 mg twice daily. You should always avoid missing doses, as this could increase your chance of developing clots. However, if it does occur, take a dose as soon as you remember and continue your cycle normally. If you remember that you've missed a dose and it is close to the time of taking your next dose, skip the dose altogether. You should not double up on a dose to try to make up for a missed dose. The main side effect of Apixaban is mild to severe bleeding. Mild signs of bleeding include easy bruising and bleeding of the gums while brushing your teeth. If these occur, please inform your doctor. More severe bleeding include coffee-looking vomit, bleeding that will not stop, red or black tarry stool, and or blood in the urine. If these occur, please seek emergency attention and call your doctor right away. It is very important to tell your doctors and pharmacists about all the medications that you are taking. This includes both herbal medications and vitamins. Ask your doctor or pharmacist before you take over-the-counter medications such as NSAIDs like ibuprofen or naproxen as these can increase your risk of bleeding. Also, inform the pharmacist and your doctor of other over-the-counter or prescription medications you are taking while on Apixaban. Do not stop taking Apixaban unless you are informed to do so by your doctor. In summary, Apixaban is a blood thinner used to treat and or prevent the formation of blood clots. Remember, if you are taking Apixaban to prevent the worsening of an existing blood clot or to prevent the formation of blood clots, you will take 2 tablets or 10 mg in the morning and evening for the first 7 days. After the first 7 days, the dose is lowered to 1 tablet or 5 mg in the morning and evening. If you are taking Apixaban to reduce your risk of developing clots in your legs and or lungs, after 6 months of having been on Apixaban, the dose is lowered to 2.5 mg twice daily. Apixaban can be taken with or without food. You always want to avoid missing doses, as it will increase your chances of forming clots. However, if it does occur, you should not double up on a dose to try to make up for a missed dose. The main side effect with this medication is bleeding. If you have excessive bleeding, blood in your vomit, stool, or urine, please seek emergency attention and contact your doctor right away. Lastly, make sure to inform your doctors and pharmacists of what other over-the-counter medications you are taking, such as ibuprofen and naproxen, as these will increase your chances of bleeding. Also, inform your doctors and pharmacists of any herbal and or prescription medications you are taking. Again, do not stop taking Apixaban unless instructed to do so by your doctor.
Thank you for watching. We hope you learned a lot about your new medication, Apixaban. Please ask the pharmacist if you have further questions.